Hi Leo, welcome to your Week Ahead Taroscope with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share and hit that subscribe if you should so choose. Uh, if you are already a continued so I love you. Thank you so much for all of your support. It truly means the world. With that said, if you would like to book a personal tarot or FLP session with me, you can do so on the website address below. Before we start, as always, I would like to bless all of my decks of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good so let's see leo what is the week ahead has in store for us what are we removing releasing or letting go of from our life path this week what are we removing releasing or letting go of from our life paths this week and this week we get we've got the eight of cups right so we're letting go of emotional disappointment this really feels for me though like this week we're regulating our emotions i kind of feel like you've probably had a bit of a bumpy time of it lately leo and i feel like a lot of you are saying to yourself you know what i can let the shit go now like and, and this is about letting go of the heavy emotions it's about letting go of the things that have made you feel some kind of way whether this is in relation to a person whether it's in relation to an experience uh, or any of the above right this really feels for me like this week you are letting go of a lot of deep seated old past baggage um you know this eight of cups really sees you addressing the emotional instabilities in your life and the emotional insecurities there and by doing so it really feels like you're about to free up a lot of internal space uh, i really like this card for you as uh, for us rather as what we're letting go of because it suggests that new energy is making its way into our lives this week so what are we working on now at the heart of the matter you've got the five of cups right so this is interesting sometimes when we let go of one thing and we free up a lot of internal space and energy it leaves a gap right and when there's that gap within us it's like oh fuck i feel empty i feel this i feel cold i feel and rather than just kind of sit with that experience of now being lighter and freer and more aware and more alight um we have a tendency to fill it with everything. Some, for some people it would be food, sex, drugs, rock and roll, uh, weed speed and birth control. <laughs> it's a rhyme that we uh, we said when, when we were kids where I live. Um, but yeah, you know, like literally they will try to fill that space with everything that they have. The five of cups, aside from loss and mourning and all of those things, it's also about uh, overindulgence. And this really feels for me like this is something that a lot of us are going to work on this week. It's really interesting because just yesterday I had this amazing, amazing coaching session uh, where I, you know, I came to all of these mad conclusions on things that I really hadn't, you know, I kind of knew them at a deep level, but I hadn't really consciously acknowledged and accepted them. So to see these cards, it really feels for me like this week there's going to be something that you let go of and it's going to be like a moment of, yeah, you know what, I feel lighter, I feel free within myself for having let that go and then because there's going to be this moment of like oh you know have I done the right thing and if I'm not holding on to my wounds and my pain who am I if I can't identify with those things that upset me and hurt me and kept me in a certain position basically this is saying Leo you are ready for the next level you are ready for the next evolution of self and in order to reach that you're going to have to break through the barrier of how you feel now what you don't want to do, what you're going to be working on this week is not then overindulging yourself with everything that you can find to fill that space because you feel a bit unsure about having those things gone. Whatever you let go of this week, let it go and let it be let go of, right? Don't try to replace it with anything else. Your key to the week. <laughs> yeah, you got the magician, right? If you want your power, dear Leos, if you want to sit in your power and know who you are and know where it is that you're going and what it is that you've got to say to the world, you need to be sure about that being. You need to be understanding all of as all the assets and facets of yourself, right? In order to do that, in order to be the magician, to rewrite and totally be in your power and live your life, 
All you need do is sit in your power. You don't have to add whistles and bells to it. You don't have to overindulge. You don't have to fill the space that suddenly opened up inside you. The universe will fill that space if you allow it to. That's how it works. As above, so below. That's what the magician does, right? They hold the wand and they point down to the ground. I will channel that divine energy into the things that, that I want to see in this world. I am the divine conduit, right? And that's what's basically happening. So this newfound space that is left once you really get rid of all of your inner baggage and shit, the space that's left is ready and waiting and primed, right? I'm getting emotive about this because I'm feeling it like in a big, deep way. It's primed for that universal energy to pour into you. Allow that hole within you to be filled with universal love, abundance, energy, peace, light, whatever you want to call it, right? Allow it to be filled with that and that will give you the power to manifest your dreams like you have never seen. What it will require from you this week is to be patient, is to be still and to allow yourself to go through the process of letting go of things that need to be let go of. Whew. All right, and Pastor Raf is done for the day. I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have an amazing week. Let me know how it shapes up for you in the comments and I will do the same. Uh, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have a great week and I will see you very soon for more videos. Take care.